It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And our focus is on the Lions, sure-handed wide receiver. Always staying busy, he's your league leader in receiving yards. It's the Lions and the Broncos on EA Sports. Coming to you from the venue that hosted the Super Bowl back in February of 06. Welcome to Ford Field in downtown Detroit. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Denver Broncos taking on the Detroit Lions. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we look at this Lions team entering play. They have certainly got it rolling of late. Winners of six in a row. And it's simple. The more you win in the regular season, the more likely you play at home in the postseason. And that can take you deep into January. Meanwhile, for the visiting Broncos. Denver is starting with the football. Jack Fox, our usual kickoff specialist, will send it away. That is KJ Hamler back to return, and he will take a knee as always. I always force touchbacks. I always kick it so deep. Like, is I, I feel like it's not very advantageous to not to make them return it. Bad things can happen. We've seen firsthand for us how the blocking works on these kickoff returns. But the Lions' defense is on the field, and James Houston is lined up here on the first play of the game. Always liked his finesse move this year. Oh, he got through. <clears throat> uh, no idea what happened. There's a catch for Greg Dulcich, gaining nine yards. Weird tackle there. What are the rules on if some punt or kick hits the goalpost and returns in back? Uh, it's, it'd, be a, it'd still be a touch badge. When you take it away four times Second and one for Denver. What do you do now when you go into a game? Do you decide you can't throw the ball? Do you try Wilson to back to pass. Trying to run. Aquara sure getting in there, and it's Levi Anzarike on the sack. Held on to the ball way too long, did Russ. Forces a third down and eight. No idea. He just he held on to the ball forever. Yeah, he took about a week to make up his mind, and his, when he made up his mind, it was, I want to die. Third and eight. <clears throat> I don't know if using Aiden Hutchinson is a great idea after what we had happen a week ago. We're going to give it a go. What the hell? How did he break out of How is he breaking out of this? Regardless, it'll be a three and out for Denver. Jesus, that was scary. So Kali Freeman back to receive a punt. What is the name of this punter? Sipos? All right, can we get a block? Yes. We'll get well, we'll get a few punt return yards up near the 40 to the 38-yard line. Lions offense, the number one offense in this franchise. These 15-minute quarters have done absolutely insane things to Goff, Goff's passing numbers. However, we have been playing pretty well with Goff as of late. We threw a lot of interceptions early in the year. Lately, it's been a lot better. So a first down run, David Montgomery. Nice blocking, gain of six. 11 carries, 66 yards for Monty against Chicago. We split Montgomery and Gibbs up, and uh, Gibbs was just having the better game, so we stuck with Jameer. Montgomery on second out, and Jamison Williams gets a block downfield, and David Montgomery is going to the house. Touchdown, Lions. Twentieth rushing touchdown of the year for David Montgomery. Good Lord, I knew the run was going to be working today. I didn't expect it to break like this, this early. Monty in the end zone for an early Lion lead. Without throwing a pass. Riley Patterson perfect on extra points this year. It's up and good. Two plays, 61 yards. 
the big hitter for Montgomery. That's the Lions in the end zone, so we have less plays, more points than Denver. Hamler again on the touchback, coming out to the 25 again. Well, what can Denver do? Probably not much. Hutchinson on the interior this time. That's Jalen Reeves Mabin on the edge. Motioning in was Jerry Judy. Russell Wilson to scramble. And he'll slide down after a gain of six. Was getting pressured by Aiden Hutchinson. Nobody there to take Wilson down on the scramble. Second down and four from the 31. Wilson back to pass. Hit as he fires. It's third and inches. That certainly looked like a first down to Adam Troutman, but I suppose we'll take it. He did get popped as well. Three wide receivers to the right side for Wilson. Williams is the back. James Houston got free. Caught. Cam Sutton. Two catches for Denver here on this drive in very, very close coverage. Cam Sutton on that last stop. Denver again, Aleem McNeil powering through, throwing to the flat, slipping another tackle. We can't tackle today. Russell Wilson is five of five, but for only 26 yards. Second down and one, right smack dab at midfield. Hutchinson gets double teamed. Oh, hey, this guy's nuts! He is breaking every first attempt at a tackle. Jesus. First down Denver to the 45. Hutchinson gets free. Hutchinson and... Oh. Just missed. Williams on that. First incompletion for Russell Wilson. Threw on the run, which Russ can do. But just missed him. Second down, and a handoff. Williams, he bro breaks another first attempt at a tackle. Am I just spoiled that we've been playing with the with the Bears franchise for so, so like so often lately? Because this team can't tackle. Wilson back to pass, Jack Campbell. Fresh off an upgrade in on the sack. Second of the day for the Lions, forces second and 17. Seventh sack of the year for Jack Campbell. Sutton, Judy gonna line up essentially as a tight end. Pressure coming, Aiden Hutchinson, it's dropped on the interception by Emmanuel Mosley. Oh my God. That should have been picked. Jesus, third and 17 from the 38. Empty backfield for Russell. Scrambling is Wilson coming back to the ball as Jerry Judy breaks a tackle and he's in the end zone. We can't tackle, man. They broke tackles on every single play. Was there a weird boost that I didn't look at it for this game? This feels like the Green Bay game. He was wide open, became an easy touchdown pass. This is why I shouldn't do those those dialogue cutscenes uh, a week before we actually play the game. Because if there was, I certainly forgot about it. But that's usually what makes these games delve into madness like that. They broke every single first attempt at a tackle. Every single player did. Khalif Raymond from a couple yards deep as the Lions get the football again. Khalif Raymond to the outside. 
Does he have the speed to get around the edge? Oh, he got caught up on the sideline, but Khalif Raymond takes it to the house. Oh, this game is going to be 81-79, isn't it? Look at the pack of players following me. Kali Freeman with his best Greg Gray impression. What a bizarre start. Extra point good by Patterson. <coughs> Two TDs on giving the kick out. Kickoff doesn't count as a play. Two plays. Two touchdowns on two plays. So let's try this again after the kick return TD. Here's yet another KJ Hamler. To a knee. Let's see if the Lions defense can fucking make a tackle. We were getting pressure on Russell Wilson on that first drive. It just never really got home. Wilson, back to pass. He's going to fire across the middle. Looking for Williams out of the backfield, but incomplete. Second down. Wilson to throw. Wilson to run. Firing toward the sideline and incomplete. Wilson is another one of those quarterbacks where you face it. It's tough to bring him down for a sack because he is so mobile. I have no idea what my defense is trying to do here. Wilson to pass. Over the middle to a spot. Incomplete. So we forced two three and outs, but also got drove down the field on. On a drive where we couldn't make a tackle. Punt to the far side. Raymond on the return. Khalif Raymond looking for the edge. And we kind of got moved in on an animation there. I think that was, e was that Eli Apple? Well, seven minutes into this game, we're going to throw our first pass. Looking for Amon Ross St. Brown, and he's got it. Amon Ross St. Brown to the goal line. Touchdown. I knew this Denver team was bad, but holy hell. A 63-yard bomb to Amon Ross St. Brown on our first pass of the game. Is this a 100-point game in the making? Patterson's PAT good. <laughs> Dude, our poor defense. <laughs> They've gone to the sideline for like... Not even a play. They went to the sideline for a kickoff. And then they went to the sideline for... A punt and a pass. <laughs> These poor guys. Three tight ends to the right for Denver. Uh-oh. That's a handoff. It's Williams. Nice tackle there, Tracy Walker. That, that looked bad early. I was really worried that that was going to break. First down, Denver to the 38-yard line. Hutchinson got free on the first one. Caught. Over the middle, that's Sutton. Sutton? No, it's not. Who the fuck is? Yeah, it is. Oh, God. What the fuck was that? 
Hand off to Javante Williams doesn't get much. Second down and nine. In his mind, he knitted together the two weeks with no break. He's off to a nice start here. Hand off again that time. Aiden got him in the backfield. Even Aiden Hutchinson can't make first attempts at tackles, man. Got broke. Thankfully, Malcolm Rodriguez there. Third down and 11. From the 46. Wilson going to scramble over the middle. Caught. Javante Williams. I couldn't switch to uh, Jack Campbell to try and maybe intercept that or knock it to the ground. And Denver is on the move down to the 29. We've got motion here. Move it. Oh, good God. Who was on Greg Dolchich? I'm going to assume that was supposed to be Will Harris, who just never turned his back around. Extra point up and good, and for all our early success, we only lead by seven. And a Greg Dulcich touchdown reception finished that drive off. Raymond from the goal line. Taken at the goal line. Khalif Raymond that time didn't get the blocks. And he'll be stopped, stopped at the 25. At the well, I feel the streak may just come to an end. We've ran three offensive plays. Looking. That is Sam Laporta on the drag route already up to midfield. Before five minutes hits? I mean, after that, that's a possibility. They're playing off on Amon Ross St. Brown. Goff, just going to have to dump that down. Brock Wright. Goff, three of three for 94 yards. Jackson on the stop. Second down and four from the 45. Montgomery up the middle. Nice tackle. <clears throat> hey, where's my break tackle? And that is Eli Apple. Third down and two. A lot of players in the box here. Maybe not the best decision to run, but we're going to do it anyway. Montgomery following the blocks down to the 37. Four carries, 71 yards. I think this might have been the... No, this was not the play that scored the touchdown earlier. Looking, that is Laporta fighting, gaining nine. Perfect completion percentage early for Jared Goff. Montgomery to the outside. The fullback didn't make the block. Montgomery breaks a tackle, gets back to the line of scrimmage. Browning on the stop, third and one. Headed back to the run, back to the inside zone. It's carried us all season as Montgomery runs. Has the first down. Hey, as long as we score a touchdown, the efficiency is still good in my book. Uh-oh, Jamo. Jamison Williams to the corner. He's got it to the one-yard line. This might get reviewed. I'm not entirely certain he didn't step out of he didn't catch this ball on the sideline here. No, but I mean, his feet glitched, and we didn't see that. <clears throat> we'll call a play and see, and it's not going to get reviewed. That play will stand. So first and goal, we'll go with Montgomery, and he's in the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. I wasn't sure on the JMO catch just because his feet did some weird things when there was contact made. Didn't know if the catch was made before that or not. Extra point 
Extra point by Patterson. E. It's up and good. <clears throat> yeah, the defense did need a rest, man. They've been on the field the entire first quarter. Twenty-eight fourteen. I'm not exactly certain what the highest scoring quarter we've had in a game this year is with the Lions, but I feel like it's higher than twenty-eight. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive. They watch the other side just score, but remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. Well, can the Lions get back to playing good defense? We've been. Real hit or miss as Aiden Hutchinson got free, firing an incomplete. Is Russell Wilson. We force three and outs or allow touchdowns. Second down, Hutchinson got free. Aiden Hutchinson going to force a throw away. Well, so if you go past just the Lions franchise, I know we just scored 30 the other day in a, in a single quarter with the Bears. Hutchinson again, breaking free, forcing yet another throw away and a three and out. Wilson just kept scrambling to Hutchinson's side, didn't want to take the hit. Just throw, threw it to the sideline every single time. Raymond on the return. Raymond. What the hell? Got turned upside down. Lions start at the 37. Maybe let's get this to quarter number two. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense Montgomery. Seem to stop them. It's like going to be a short gain. Better than I thought. 35 or bust, fine. I will take one shot. This actually, depending on, we got to watch and see if Montgomery gets covered. Sometimes the uh, AI defense won't cover that. <laughs> they did. <laughs> they did, and it looked like they called a, a deep cover three there. Third and 15. Have to step up and make more plays like we just saw there. Yeah, those are the type of plays that can I think we got a linebacker on Laporta. Press coverage on Montgomery. Looking over the middle. What? The, I don't know what the hell uh, Laporta just did. All right, so we can't get this to the second quarter. <clears throat> we got to screwing around. Jack Fox to punt. One of the Gunners gets free. That is Jerry Jacobs. Misses the stop. Judy. Or no, sorry, that's uh, Hamler. On the return. Five seconds left in the first quarter. Hutchinson got free. Missed the tackle. Missed another tackle. We got a block there. Just glued to a block. And Javante Williams is going to score. Dude, I hate these shit show games. I mean, so we, we missed here. We missed here because Lord knows you hit the button here. And then it doesn't take effect until there. That's always great. And then when we get up here, I mean, is this is this a block? In, it's a block in the back, but it slows him down. He's getting shoved forward. But because he's getting blocked, he stops for a second, and that, that yeah, that, that killed us. <clears throat> and with that carry, he's already over 100 yards here in the first half. And partner, you know exactly what he's saying to his teammates right now, right? Especially to the player. Extra point, good. We <laughs> Miserable first quarter. 28-21. Joseph to Raymond. Here's Raymond. Raymond might have blocks. Khalif Raymond is still going. Won't take this one back, but it is a nice return to the 41. Second and 
He's got Raymond. On first and ten, gone. Williams. And that'll be that should have probably been P.I., but okay. Yeah, they were out on the field a lot. Uh, they blitz on the run. Montgomery only going to get three yards. It's a third down and seven. Well, we started this game very, very well. Jamo's in. Jamo's covered here in press. Looking, that's an absolute bomb by Goff. Had the bullet pass that. I didn't want to lob it up in the air. Let that safety creep over. Two catches for Jamo. Lions up to the 24. Montgomery. Oh, Decker didn't hold his block, but Montgomery's still going. Down to the 13. We do have to work Jameer Gibbs into this game. So to the depth chart we go. Otherwise, David Montgomery's going to have 50 carries. Goff going to lob it up there. St. Brown for the Lions touchdown. All righty. Well, there's your 35. It just came about two minutes later than we wanted it. Five plays, 59 yards, a minute 37. Off the clock. Fox sends it away. And this will come out to the 25 as Hamler elects not to return it. The offense getting set again. We spotlight Javante. I was so happy to be able to sleep in this morning. I've been like sleep deprived all week. I have no idea how he streamed every day. Probably been pretty low energy streams, but there is Javante Williams again, gaining nine. Like, my girlfriend asked me if I wanted to go on the travel vet thing with her this weekend, and I was just like, dude, I can't. <clears throat> I have not, I have not slept all week. I've been a corpse just walking around. Denver up to the 36. And they are running the ball at us, and they're getting some good run. Dude, what is this fucking... What is happening? Why can't we tackle? I don't think Williams has an X factor. It's another run to the outside. Pulled forward for two yards. Aiden Hutchinson's first tackle of the day, according to that line. Second down and eight from midfield. Pressure is coming, and an incomplete pass. Pressure was coming. I was a uh, user in James Houston. Kind of got picked off. Trying to get my, trying to get in there to the backfield. Third and eight. Over the middle. It's intercepted. It's Brian Branch. Just lurking over the middle. Definitely not a user, but I'll take it. He's certainly not been afraid to take some chances downfield. Now look, it's paid off for him a couple of times. That time, not so fortunate. And that's First turnover of this game. Four minutes in to the second quarter. Hand off. It is Jameer Gibbs. Back to the line of scrimmage. I don't really love that. I'm going to go back to the run. Montgomery back in the game. Back to the Montgomery slips a tackle. He's gaining yards. It's third and six. 96 yards on the ground for Montgomery. We'll call this, see if St. Brown or Williams can get open. If not, we can dump it off to Jameer Gibbs. It is going to be Jamo cutting it upfield and picking up the first down. 
8 of 10, 181 yards, two touchdowns on the day for Jared Goff. Looking to the tight end, Brock Wright. Gaining seven. Short passes. We don't do that enough. Second and three. Gibbs is the back. Pressure. Oh, what the hell was that animation? He got like scraped down the back and that took his feet out from under him. No idea. I don't know why I'm thinking about throwing this ball. We'll run it with Montgomery. We pick up a block. Montgomery to the 20. And he's got a 100-yard game once again. League's leading rusher. Looking. End zone. Oh, wow. How the fuck? How did he break on that? Second and 10, Jameer Gibbs going to reverse it. Gibbs making a man miss. Nice run. Yeah, no. We're very happy he didn't catch that one. Third down and three. This is to Montgomery and a bad pass, but a flag. Alex Singleton picks up a pass interference flag. First and goal from the five. Jameer Gibbs spinning out. Gibbs to the three. Doesn't seem like a very nice game for Jameer Gibbs early. The field with Montgomery is a lot better. Second and goal. Montgomery. Nobody there to block him. How did he not score? Jesus. That didn't just feel like good defense there. That felt like pride, didn't it? He's already gotten into the end zone twice, trying to get there for a third time. How the fuck? Third and goal. Might try a quarterback sneak, but some good run blocking is going to allow Montgomery to score his second touchdown of the day. Good push by the offensive line there. Just pushed everybody into the end zone. Is that his third touchdown? I saw Goff counting. That usually doesn't happen until you score three. Patterson's extra point good. The lead is 21. The Great Wall of Denver. Yeah. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Well, Denver was a team we expected to beat. There's still a long way to go in this game. But uh, we've had it pretty easy offensively here today. Williams is the back. And it's Wilson on a run. Ball is on the ground and it is picked up. By Aiden Hutchinson. Ball on the ground. And it gets worse for Denver. Oh no, he ran into his own offensive lineman and fumbled. Not quite a butt fumble. Gibbs on a pitch. Jameer Gibbs with some good speed to the outside. Near a first down, gaining nine. Is Jameer Gibbs. Another good run there. He's been good all season long. I don't know if he's gonna win that MVP award, but just to be in the good they're talking Jameer Gibbs for MVP? Goff on play action. Oh good God. Guy was unblocked. That's what he's going to need in order to get that award. That that that's fitting. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. For trying to call play action on second and one. 
Gibbs on third and one. He's got it. First down, Lions. <laughs> we ran through 86 teams yesterday. It was bound to happen that I <laughs> said something dumb. And then you never know. Alcohol may have been a factor. Goff looking to pass. Going to fire to the corner. Amon Ra's got it. Goff's third touchdown pass, the second to Amon Ross St. Brown. <laughs> what are the Denver defenders doing? 49-23, or 21 rather. Yep. Yeah. Off the fumble by Russell Wilson. Well, the Lions are an offensively capable team when... You know what's funny? When this team gambled more than they should have, they played like a team that wasn't as good as they were and just threw caution to the wind and did some crazy shit. They played better. Now they're playing not to lose, it feels like. Throwing. Intercepted. It's Kirby Joseph. This game, this is a 100-point game. That's a user. Pretty easy user, to be fair, but... Kick is up, kick is good, 56-21. Well, turnover after turnover after turnover. For Denver, Lions have capitalized on every single one. Denver was actually kind of rolling a little bit. They were... They were down by seven. It was 28-21. Handoff. Williams. Rare time. He will not break the first attempt at a tackle. 138 yards on 11 carries for Javante Williams in this game. Second and eight. Wilson. Back to pass. Caught. Sliding catch. Jerry Judy. Third down and three from the 32. Hutchinson got free. Jalen Reeves Maven missed him. Firing to the fucking middle of the field and he caught it. I, sw I fucked up on the, switches, uh, the switching of players, but holy shit, man. That should have been an easy pick. Play action. To the end. Nope, not to the end zone. Curl route. Jerry Judy. To the five. Third catch for Judy for 61 yards. Out of bounds, but the clock runs. It's good for Denver. It means they get out of this game quicker. First and goal, Williams. Only a yard. Lions offense should get the ball back with some time to do something. But can we get a goal line stand here? Williams! Oh, we just missed him with James Houston. Down to the one. Cameron Sutton on the stop. Third and goal from the one. Might be four down territory here for Denver. Play action! Should have been intercepted by Derek Barnes. I think that would have been his third straight game with a pick. It's fourth and goal, and they will go for it. Fourth and goal. Hand. No play action. Oh, Jesus. They've been baiting me in with the play action all day. No good. Denver denied the end zone. 
Dude, what is it with Russell Wilson-led teams and throwing from the one-yard line? Well, we are at the one-and-a-half-yard line. Goff back to pass. St. Brown going to get us a little space. Uh, we didn't really need to call no huddle there. We're right up against the two-minute warning. Might as well snap it. Why not? Looking. Sam Laporta should have been intercepted. Third down and four. Third down and four after that incompletion on second down. They're blitzing to Laporta. Should be a first down, and it is. Lions hurry up. I don't like any of these plays. Goff back to pass. Looking. He's got Khalif Raymond. Hurrying up again. We got to get out of bounds or something. I hate this formation. Throwing over the middle. Kali Freeman. We're just going to take a timeout now. I'm sick of this formation. So first down to the 50-yard line. St. Brown sliding, catching out of bounds. Up to the 30. Jared Goff is just dotting up today. Been great throwing the football. Oh, that's a bad pass, but it's caught, yes, by Jamison Williams. They actually had somebody there. Pressure. Goff over the middle on the run. It is caught by Jamison Williams, but he's running backwards. We're just going to call a hurry up here. Make sure Denver doesn't get this football back. Call our second timeout with 15 seconds to go in the half. Second and goal. If we don't get in here, dude, I, Jamison Williams is like at the goal line. Over the middle, St. Brown hangs on. Another touchdown for Amon Ross St. Brown. Jared Goff's got four touchdowns in the first half. I was really worried with him getting popped. Those shoulder tackles are always, especially to the back, they're always big hitters, usually forces incompletions, but Amon Ross St. Brown is so good. An ugly game. Patterson's extra point good with 13 seconds to go. A 10-play, 100-yard drive in 2 minutes and 6 seconds. Uh, Denver, I mean, I don't know what they're going to do. So we're going to sky kick this, make them run some time off the clock. It'll be taken at the 8. And here is, why is Aiden Hutchinson playing special teams? They are uh, definitely going to run this. And I'm in cover four, so that's not great. Hand off, Williams. Gains six, and apparently that's enough to think about taking a shot. They Oh, shit, they're in Hail Mary. Take a timeout. I thought, oh, I'll just call a deep, I'll just call deep zone and we'll be fine. No. Got to go into prevent here. With six seconds remaining, Denver going to launch a Hail Mary from their own 29. Wilson, back to pass. And he missed. Hey, Jesus Christ. One second remaining, however. One second to go. Before halftime, 63-21 will likely be the halftime score. Wilson, passing, he's got a man. That's halftime. For the 35, so we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath.
As we'll send you down to Orlando and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. Some good-looking matchups on your screen there. One of the best? Yeah, I'll say it. It's in Cleveland. A big test there for the Browns as they get set to play host to the Chicago Bears. The 4 o'clock games have some intrigue as well, especially up in Buffalo, where it'll be the Bills taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Finally, Monday Night Football, two of the most successful franchises of this new millennium. Eight Super Bowls between them, the Chiefs and Patriots from Foxborough. The Lions got a very strong performance out of their quarterback, Jared Goff. He was nothing short of amazing, throwing four touchdown passes to help push his guys out to a sizable halftime lead. Second half underway, and we start the we start the second half with the ball. Good lord, Raymond on the return. Khalif Raymond to the outside again. Good return to the 44. You almost you gotta feel bad at this point. Now we don't. I am sure this is not rookie. We have checked multiple times. Gibbs has blocks. Jameer Gibbs. Reverse that run to the other side of the field, down to the 34. Well, we are on pace for 120 points. But uh, it's not really any reason not to be in shoe clock the entire second half as Gibbs... Jamo kind of blocked somebody into us. That's second and six. Oh, I think we might already be in the record books by the end of this game. Ah, that's not a great throw. It's a good thing I I tried to lead it once I saw the defender over there. I was like, okay, I'm going to like lead this as far right as I can. I didn't really mean to leave it that short. I still wanted it to be potentially catchable. Third and six. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Why did I get tackled by my fucking guard? Well, we got to kick a long field goal now. That's what I get. We're trying to call a run on third and six. This is the first field goal attempt of the entire game. Riley Patterson puts it through the uprights. Sixty-six twenty-one. Yeah. If only this game was nothing but field goals. If only it was like three-three. Might actually be fun. But hey, scoring points is fun. First down, Denver from the twenty-five. And it's another run for Javante Williams, gaining only two yards. Got to win 3-0. Got to pull a, a Minnesota Vikings. That was funny in the halftime. It said that Chargers Raiders ended 17-14 Raiders. That ain't ideal. He did not catch that. There is no way. I am fairly certain that his, his feet were in the air. But we could be wrong. At least that's what it looked like live. Uh, I think this was... No, it was not Sutton. Did he... Did he really drag the feet here? Oh. Oh, it's that little tap. It's that little tap there at the end. Because I don't... He's de He's got one foot down right now. Is that just a, just a little bloop? A little bloop. But it's not a first down. Third down and one. Javante Williams is not going to get it. Fourth and one. And that forces a punt. Oh, boy. 
defensive line. They've been knocked around the entire game. Raymond back to return. See if we can get to the other side of the field here. Nope. Had two blocks, needed three. I haven't called the jet sweep with Amon Ross St. Brown yet. Let's run this to the side of the field where we got more space. Oh, safety just crept up, though. Ah! That's caught. Khalif Raymond still moving near the 50. We have gotten away with some pretty bad throws today. Earlier in the year, that, that gets picked. Gibbs has blocks. Jameer Gibbs. Oh, if Jamo held his block. We definitely had the speed to get around the outside. Second down and two. Play action. Goff back to pass. That's a wide open Jamison Williams. Can't make... Callahan and Simmons miss, but it's down to the 18-yard line. Lions in the red zone again. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Gibbs on the run. Not much. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, that's not a run that's gonna make it. Second half is uh, going by much quicker now that we're in shoe clock. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Looking over the middle, Laporta. What the fuck? Too far in front. I have I have no idea what just happened there. Third and nine. Gonna try some things we haven't tried much today. Screen for Gibbs. We've got blocks. Jameer Gibbs to the outside. First down. I feel like the goal should be to get Goff to at least seven touchdown passes at this point. Over the middle! Whoa! Another ball that should have been intercepted. The route I was looking for got broken up. I kind of panicked. Third and goal. Go off, back to pass, lobbing it up. It's Amon Ross St. Brown again. What a game 14's having. Fifth touchdown pass for Goff. For what would be the current NFL record, it's 73 points. Nine plays, 76 yards, three and a half minutes. And this will come out to the 25 as Hamler elects now. Yes. Yeah, the point differential right now is like a usual point total in an NFL game. Javante Williams got a good push from the offensive line there for a gain of four. And so the clock runs out. Dude, imagine if you're Javante Williams. You've rushed for 150 yards. We're halfway through the third quarter, and your team is down this much. Wilson back to pass. Over the middle. Oh, Sutton nearly broke that up. That was some Sutton on Sutton crime attempts. But Cortland Sutton on the catch. First down, Denver. Just to the Detroit side of the 50. Hand off, Williams. Brought down by Levi Anzarike. Second tackle, tackle on the day for Levi. 
it's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Play action. Russell going to fire a wide open. Greg Dulcich to the 30-yard line. I mean, what do you do to what do you do to defend that? I mean, that play is just broken from the start. I don't know what the hell Russell Wilson's plan was. The play action takes him this way. Everyone is on the other side of the field, so he's got to turn around and fire. I suppose it's a good play if you drew it up that way, but a Madden's not that good. Wilson to pass. Going to fire. Sideline incomplete. I thought I had a chance with Brian Branch. I didn't realize he was that far out of bounds. Second down from the 30. 31 passes, 19 rushes for Denver. Wilson scrambling. James Houston going to force a throw to the sideline. Third and 10 from the 30. Inside a field goal range, not like it matters. Wilson going to fire. It's a nice little curl route. First year wide receiver Marvin Mims on the catch, his second of the day. Got popped by Emmanuel Mosley. Denver showing life for the first time in a while. Thrown caught. Javante Williams. Well, we've kept him out of the end zone in this spot once already. Can we do it again? Hand off Williams to the one. Second and goal. Not sure how we're going to manage this. They got three chances to pound this in. And it's the fullback using my own play against me. Touchdown, Michael Burton. Big man with ball, kind of. That's an emphatic dive from the fullback. Big air! Big air! 73 to 28. Wasn't this about to score the... the Dolphins uh, Broncos game earlier in the year. Now Joseph, tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. Joseph sends it. Raymond from the two. Kali for Raymond has had some nice returns today. That one not a bad one, but not one of his best. Eight targets, seven catches, 127 yards, and five touchdowns for Amon Ross St. Brown. Jesus. Looking, Laporta hangs on. Goff 23 of 32. Oh, well, they're going to blitz. How can I not call this? Play action. Looking, Brock right. Got it. Goff just shy of 400 yards. Every single passing touchdown has been to Aubin Ross St. Brown. Gibbs on the run, getting to the outside, Jameer Gibbs. Gaining eight. Neither running back having an insane game today. Montgomery over 100 yards, but. Goff, play action, Jamo has it to the 10. Well, can we throw a touchdown not to St. Brown? Out of the gun. Goff. Goff scrambling. Oh, oh, no, no, oh, no. St. Brown just kept running. I didn't even see who that was running over the middle. Pressure coming from the left side this time. Picked up. Goff. 
to throw. End zone! It's Amon Ross St. Brown again. <laughs> Six touchdown passes for Jared Goff in this game. All to Amon Ross St. Brown. What is the NFL record for receiving touchdowns in a game? I'm amazed I actually typed that well enough to uh Patterson now for the extra point. To to not misspell everything. <clears throat> I had to swap out my keyboard. I think the alienware might finally be dead. The NFL record for receiving yards in a or receiving touchdowns in a game is five. Three players have had five. So Amon Ross St. Brown now has the record all alone with six. 80 to 28. And this will come out to the 25 as Hamler elects not to return it. Javante Williams and the rest of the Bronco offense. So now Javante Williams. Had a good performance, moved the ball pretty much been Denver's only offense. And when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described. First down Denver. Wilson to pass. Wilson to scramble. Going to fire. Toward the sideline, caught. Second string tight end, Adam Troutman. Yeah, and we still have a quarter to play. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Second down and three. Quick throw, that is caught. They'll give him the first down on forward progress. Cam Sutton, or sorry, uh, Cortland Sutton. His sixth catch. Three tight ends here for Denver. Oh, Jesus, the block shed for James Houston. Javante Williams allowed to get back to the line of scrimmage. Will there be another play? Appears so. Uh, yep, they will snap it. Play action, and that is a sack for James Houston to end the third quarter. Wilson ran right into that one. Third and 19 for Denver. Wilson back to pass. Sideline should have been intercepted. I think that's the second dropped pick of the day for Emmanuel Mosley in Denver to punt. Raymond, it's a short punt. Still space to return. Khalif Raymond to the 45. I do believe we're over 400 yards passing now with Jared Goff. <clears throat> Not certain. We are uh, going to reach the yardage mark that Goff said earlier in the year. Williams to the outside. Jamo, a diving catch. No. Off his hands. Hey, we're up 50. Why not go for 100? You think maybe that And you know who we whose name we haven't said throughout the entire game? Pat Sertain. Looking St. Brown over the middle. Somehow couldn't haul that one in. Nice back to back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Third down. Goff on play action. Looking. Jamison Williams intercepted. Isaiah Simmons. Goff is the only one that can make the tackle. And look who. Oh, it's not Simmons. It's Pat Sertain. We called him out. Well, that's a hit to the 100-point game wishes. Wilson on a screen pass. Brian Branch got right through, but we can't tackle on the first attempt. You've got to remember that. Gaining four. 
Nice job by the defense figuring that play out and holding it to a short game, but I don't think the offense is going to be daunted. Javante Williams on the last catch. Well, because I threw, our, threw an interception. We're not perfect today. Screen again. And that's incomplete. Surprise, that's not pass interference. Third and six. Will they call yet another screen? Back-to-back -back screen plays. Hand oh no, play action. Ali McNeil is in on the sack. Wilson didn't know what to do with it, and that is going to force a Denver field goal. Greg Joseph. It is up and good. All right, well, <clears throat> let's not throw a pick here. I don't know, man. Denver might come back. Raymond on the return. Good acceleration on that. Oh, I tried to reverse. It was a little late. Six touchdowns for Amon Ross St. Brown. We were looking for Jamison Williams on the interception. Play action. Looking. Brock Wright. Brock Wright down the sideline. Still moving his right inside the 35. A 44 yard gain for Brock Wright. I only audibled out of that because it looked like they had way too many guys in the box for us to run the ball effectively, as this is Jameer Gibbs for a gain of five. 13 carries, 60 nice yards for Jameer. Second and five, Blitz is coming, looking. That is Sam Laporta inside the 15. Well, if we pass the rest of the drive and score, we can get Goff to 500 yards. Looking for Amon Ra, intercepted by Pat Sertain. He wasn't even the one that was on in coverage. He was coming across covering another guy. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. Jeez. Wilson into the end zone. Oh, it's caught. Javante Williams will pass the 40. To think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. Right are they talking about our turnovers? Really, our turnovers are the problem? Are they winding clock? Throw away over the middle. Our guy got picked off there. That's caught by Jerry Judy. Denver just taking chunks out of us at a time. Screen. Williams trucking air, gaining five. We've got building the Bears to follow, followed by Red Wings franchise. Colorado Rockies franchise later. Aleem McNeil got through and complete. Wilson on the run. Could not find Judy. Third down and five. Will they run this? They will not. Play action. Incomplete. Knocked away by Romeo Okwara. The defensive end. Who was out in coverage. It says they're going to punt this down big like they are. I'm not entirely certain, so we're going to call safe, man. They will punt it. Looks like a good one toward the sideline. It's okay. At least inside the 20. Well, Lions were driving. Another interception by Pat Sertain. 
defense. Plenty of compliments already, but I mean, they are deserving. His Montgomery on the carry. David Montgomery to the outside. Makes a man miss out to the 33. Monty has just had a great game. We, we limited him after that first quarter, but what a first quarter he had. Gibbs in the game. Waiting for a block from Brock Wright, turning it upfield for a few extra yards. Eight catches and six of them have been in the end zone. That sounds, that just wraps up Lions franchise just in a nutshell this year. Second and three. Uh-oh. Laporta's got it. Only choice is to run out of bounds. We had an unblocked uh, guy coming off the edge there. Lucky to get that ball away. Gibbs on the run. Ran right into some pressure. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's kind of been that kind of day. And as, as much as this play works in other franchises, it hasn't worked today. Goff on the move. Firing it up for J-Mo. He's got it. Down to the 23. Watch the safeties here. Looking. Laporta just got drugged downfield there. Goff is over 500 yards. Yes. Huge lead, and some people may be saying, "Well, why are they throwing the football?" These guys, I guess, are just padding their stats at this point. Yeah. Looking, Laporta. He's got it. Sam Laporta to the five. Goff looking for touchdown number six or uh, number seven, actually. I mean, come on. We've got to try and go for it. Goff just going to scramble, gaining two yards. <laughs> it's Amon Ra. Amon Ra on that route that I'm looking for. Goff on play action. Got it away. Jameer Gibbs gaining only a yard on that. Done a good job avoiding sacks today. From the gun, here's Looking, Khalif Raymond. He, no, he dropped. Well, it's called a touchdown, but I think he dropped it. What? Seven touchdown pass of the day for Jared Goff. The first one that doesn't go to Amon Ross St. Brown. I guess he had it for long enough before he got popped by Sertain. And if nothing else here, CD, a chance to pile on some stats before this one wraps up, and he did just... Oh, boy. No, it's good. We're fine. Haven't missed an extra point yet this year. We about did. Four minutes to play in this debacle of football. 87-31. Yeah, only seven points in the fourth, man. What happened to the Lions? Are the Lions are the Lions cooked? Are the Lions done? Are they washed? Four minutes to go. We get the ball back. Yes, we are still looking to rack up points. That is caught. That is Sutton. Down to the 46. At this rate, we will get the ball back. Seventh catch for Sutton for 151 yards. It's another screen caught by Javante Williams, and they got blocks. Always breaking the first tackle down near the 35. Let them score to get the ball back. I mean, we'll get the ball back. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. Is that false start or offsides? It was offsides on Aiden Hutchinson. 
I wasn't even using. Oh, encroachment rather. I wasn't even using him. Stops the clock though. And give them free yardage. Here's Wilson, to throw. Wilson to throw. Firing sideline. He got hit back there. Lucky we didn't get a roughing the passer call. They're on Aleem McNeil. Uh, the hundo, I think, died when we uh, when we threw two picks in this fourth quarter. Especially the one down near the end zone. On the drag. That is caught. I believe that's Mims. It is. Nearing the two-minute warning. And they are running it. Williams. Let's see if they just take this to the two-minute warning to get, to get out of here. Yes, they will. Well, will we see a Denver two-minute offense that wants to score, or am I going to have to take timeouts? So to get the football back, and uh, what the hell? Here. Why is he way back second there? Second, second and eight. Wilson to pass, to through. fire, to the sideline, caught by Sutton. And he'll be out of bounds, Third down and three. Third and three. Wilson back to throw. Scrambling to the end zone. Incomplete. Another missed opportunity to pick in this game by Emmanuel Mosley. And a field goal attempt for Denver. They have lost their will to fight. Uh-oh. Oh, we almost had that blocked with Jerry Jacobs. Had the jump on it and just missed it. In the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Well, Lions get the ball back. A minute 47 to go. Raymond going to be forced to return this from the two. And Khalif Raymond. Oh, Jesus. Nearly broke another one. Eight, eight receptions, six touchdowns for Amon Ross St. Brown. First down. Goff on play action. Going to have to fire it up to a spot out of the reach of Amon Ra. Goff on play action again. Look it. Uh-oh. St. Brown's got it. Hurrying back to the line. Let's go, boys. Yards. Run up the score. Looking. That is Sam Laporta. Laporta still going. Popped at the 24. Forty-two seconds to go. Looking Laporta, diving attempt at a catch, but incomplete. Goff at six hundred yards, even. That lead certainly not dissuading them from pressing the envelope late. I mean, if anything, with these passes, it's like they're getting more aggressive to try to drive the ball downfield. And that will certainly lend itself to some post-game questions for that coach. And maybe you and I should attend that press conference and see what he has to say. Throwing over the middle, dropped by Raymond. Will Goff be stopped at 600 yards? a chance to clean things up, but he certainly will have some explaining to do. I don't like any of these plays. Looking to change the play. Third down. Uh oh. On the run, no. Goff taken down. We are fully acting stupid here. That's a catch for Laporta. Timeout. <laughs> Timeout with one second. All right. Let's uh, let's call 
performance we have seen. They have been unstoppable from the moment we began this game. Oh, fuck. Well, I called the wrong play, but it'll be fine. Yeah, Denver fans would be absolutely furious. Looking for J-Mo! Off his hands as time expires. <laughs> Went for the eighth touchdown of the game for Goff. Incomplete. I think he finishes with... Actually, no, the completion there. Probably going to finish with about 612 yards. Played a bad fourth, but play is good in the first three quarters. Didn't matter.